I wanted to ask, I understand you wanted to return to the U.S. and as good as I'm sure your Russian is, um, you want to be with your people. Uh, I wanted to ask, how well do you think you do in a fair trial? Uh, would you feel safe maybe during the case or afterwards? And do you think a fair trial would even be possible? Thanks. Uh, we'd love to go back and face a fair trial. Um, but unfortunately, as you surmised in your question, uh, there is no fair trial available uh, on offer right now. I've been working exhaustively with the government now uh, since I left. Uh, to try to find terms of a trial, which would allow you know, the public to look at these issues. Uh, it would be open, it would be clear. We wouldn't have any abuse of procedure where we'd say, oh, well, yeah, we've got all this great evidence against him, but it's classified, of course, so you can't know it. Uh, no, he can't communicate with the media. No, he can't communicate with his lawyers. No, we have to record every conversation he has uh, because he's this dangerous criminal. Those are sort of extraordinary departures from normal criminal process and what we would consider fair trials in Western liberal uh, democracies. And it's for that reason that I'm continuously sort of asking and advocating for uh, the United States government, the Department of Justice and, and other governments around the world to say, look, everybody has a right to a fair trial. If we in the United States say that we can use sort of secret interpretations of law, uh, you know, ancient laws that are, that are outdated, that were intended for one purpose and we're using it for a new novel purpose, uh, if we're going to make secret presentations of evidence, if we're going to say that national security triumphs over all other sort of public uh, interests, public priorities, and the normal dispensation uh, and pursuit of justice, what kind of message are we sending to more authoritarian countries around the world? You know, how is the Chinese government going to take this? They're going to use that as a shield when they have their next case. Uh, where someone comes forward and they reveal information uh, that's quite clearly of public interest, but they'll say, you know, this is a national security case. Uh, this person's a traitor. This person committed a great act of treason. Uh, and, you know, we need to hang them or execute them or, or do whatever. Um, and it's going to be the same thing in every country in the world. You know, how are we going to criticize China and Russia if we are making the same kind of cases inside uh, the United States?